Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets. Now yeah, I'm breaking them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I want to do a little bit something different. Uh, we already did the news today. Everything's fantastic. The market's up. Everybody's happy. Dancing in the streets. Great. But what I really want to talk to you about is it's not what you make. It is what you keep. And here are some great stories and great examples. First up, man offers the city $72 million to dig up accidentally discarded Bitcoin fortune. And this is just an awful tale of just what I was talking about today. People throwing away their hard drives. And that's why I do not believe 18 and a half million is the total circulating supply of Bitcoin because of stories like this. Uh, also, we're gonna talk about another programmer who has 240 million of Bitcoin locked in a hard drive and only two password guesses left to access it. So that'll be always interesting when you're just looking at your hard drive every day, thinking about all the money that you lost. So these are two things uh, as far as what not to do. The other part here we're going to take a look at is this, which is the scams that are running rampant throughout YouTube, even on this channel, and what to do about it, on top of all the Ponzi-like scheme scams that are coming about, and the scams that are really affecting a lot of people. And what we're going to do is I have a person from the Trade the Chain community. She was scammed out of $10,000 of her hard-earned money, and she works at a restaurant as a uh, manager. So $10,000 is quite a bit of money for her. And I'm going to tell you and I'm going to interview her and you can see exactly just how bad this is, how rampant it is and things just not to do. So let's just take a look at what I'm talking about here. So first up, man offers city $72 million to dig up accidentally discarded Bitcoin fortune. So this is exactly what you think it actually is. Back in 2013, this guy howls, accidentally threw away a hard drive containing 7,500 Bitcoin while cleaning his house. And this is, he's not the only one. I mean, we've heard story after story after story about this. So when they say that Bitcoin is at 18 and a half million circulating supply, uh, that's because we haven't mined everything. We won't mine uh, all the Bitcoin until 2140, roughly. So when we're talking about this, you have to understand that the circulating supply is just what's out there, but we don't have access to it because people like this, which is a horrible thing. By November 2013, the Bitcoin, the hard drive was already worth six and a half million and Howell has been trying to recover it ever since. The South Wales Argus Holler has tendered a fresh appeal for the right to excavate a landfill site in the city. At the current price of Bitcoin, the hard drive holds almost 290 million, meaning the city could earn about 70 million if the driver's recovered successfully because he's offered him so much money. And wouldn't you do the exact same thing? If it was me, I'd be like, hey, I'll pay you whatever you want. Just dig in there as much as possible and I'll pay the whole city or the workers or whoever else I need to because I'm gonna get 240 million and you guys get 72 million. So uh, this is just one of those things that you have to watch out for uh, because it's so easy to lose uh, your information. All right, so there is that story. And then this one is even worse in, in, in my opinion because uh, this guy threw it away so he doesn't see it every day. Uh, this guy... This programmer, he's got 240 million of Bitcoin locked on a hard drive. And he's only got two password guesses uh, to access it. So you have to understand, this is in his possession. He probably looks at this every single day and probably goes, you know what's in there? Uh, my whole future, my family's future, my kid's future, my grandkids, my great grandkids' future is right in this hard drive. And I can't access it because I did something goofy uh, and now I can't get uh, my Bitcoin that I, that I earned. So this is the story. This one sucks. There's a programmer named Stefan Thomas, and he lost his password to a hard drive containing 240 million worth of Bitcoin. And he only has two password attempts left before he's locked out forever. Why is this? Well, Thomas was given 7,000 Bitcoins within a decade ago for making a video of how cryptocurrency works. Where's someone would pay me that much? Uh, I do a lot of those over at uh, danteachescrypto.com, which you can see right up there. 100% uh, free website. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get in the game uh, soon enough, just like this gentleman here. So what a bummer, though. He decided to store them in an iron key digital wallet on a hard drive. He wrote the password to that drive on a piece of paper. Then he ended up losing. And now his Bitcoin are worth $240 million. He can't remember what password he wrote it down. <laughs> that's, that's just awful. That's just awful. So real quick. Um, on this channel, I've told you what to do and what not to do. At least I try to. I try to give you my, my best advice. And a lot of those advice comes from all my screw-ups. So you, you can learn from mistakes, but they don't have to be your mistakes. 
so just let them be my mistakes and you can learn from them. And uh, one of those that we talked about was uh, bull run strategies and, and uh, not holding the bags too long. Uh, another one is what we, we learned about, which was that uh, don't just write your passwords, your mnemonic phrases down on a random piece of paper. I did that. And uh, before Cardano had their mainnet launch, uh, I had a testnet wallet. Uh, and I wrote down all these different uh, mnemonic phrases on just scraps of paper. And each, each paper was, was each wallet, and I, put them, I stored them in what I thought was a pretty good place. Uh, unfortunately, when I went to go retrieve that for Cardano, this was you know, months and months ago, after Cardano went into their, uh, their main net launch, I couldn't find a piece of paper. So I have 20,000 Cardano sitting somewhere in the blockchain that I cannot have access to. And it's a real bummer. And it's one of those things that I realized that I needed something like this. So this is the stone book. And I've talked about this many a time. I've got two myself. Uh, it's supposed to last a lifetime. Tear resistant, soil and chemical resistant, water resistant, which is really nice. And it's everything right there. So you got all your mnemonic phrases, all your passwords. You got this cool James Bond pen. Real cool stuff, right? And then what's great about it is that I have it all in one place. So all my mnemonic phrases are there. And uh, I actually have two. One I have in my house, and one I have in my safety deposit box. So in case my house burns down, I've got a little backup. And that's essentially it. So here's the one that I have for my house. It's got everything in here. I don't have to worry about losing it. It's right there. And again, like I have one over in uh, my safety deposit box in case something crazy happens and I don't have to deal with it. And uh, if I just would have done this before, I wouldn't have lost 20,000 Cardano. But, uh, you know, here we are. So this is what is going on. And again, it's not what you make. It is what you keep. And this is a prime example of what, what, what is happening here. So that is, that is a part on, you know, error on this part. But what about this other errors that we see, which is uh, this type of nonsense right here. This one really ticks me off. So this is running rampant all over the place. Let me, let me blow this up. And it's the same thing. There is somebody who impersonates me and they have uh, multiple, multiple accounts, and they have a, uh, the, the same icon that I use, and I'll say something stupid like this. Hey, correspond to my admin with uh, WhatsApp for Bitcoin tips and guidance. But I want you to notice something. See how that one in the middle there with the stupid number? Obviously, that's not me because it's not highlighted. So just so you know that if it's me, it has to be highlighted like I am right down here. I said, yep, check out my exchange of wallet spreadsheets, blah, 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 blah. And that is what we're talking about. So make sure when you're doing these types of things that you're aware of uh, what's going on in the chat box. But then there's those things. And then there's other stuff like this, which is even worse. We have uh, all these other crappy different uh, projects out there that are just essentially Ponzi schemes. And one of those was uh, the Plus token. There's BitConnect. Uh, there's all different types of things out there. So on this channel, uh, if, if I'm talking about something, if I'm talking about a project, usually it's because it's pretty well established and I've done a ton of research into it and I totally believe in it. And if you've noticed, I don't do a lot of things like outside of the top 100. Have I missed some gains? Absolutely. But have I kept myself safe? Yes. And that's what the big thing is. I don't care if I miss out on 100,000. If, 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 if I go into a project and I tell you about it, and then you're like, oh, we're making all this money. And then all of a sudden they uh, pull the rug. And then all of a sudden you have no money. Then uh, what happens there? Well, it comes back on not only did I lose out, but you lost out. So I have to be uh, 10x careful. And it's just one of those things I've always talked about. It's not, <sighs> trust, is a, uh, trust is a currency you can't buy. Trust is a commodity you can't buy. And the only reason that you watch me is because you trust me. I'm going to give you the best information I possibly can. So I'm extra super cautious. And it actually makes me a little bit more of a stronger hand because I have to look up things a lot more. So uh, these types of things I, I just will not do. And then, of course, this one talks about how there's, you know, 4 billion loss in different cryptocurrency scams. And there's a ton of them. I mean, there's a real ton of them out there. And uh, this is why, let me see here, over at uh, danteachescrypto.com, the 100% free websites right there. Uh, if, if you go to that and you sign up, uh, username and password gets sent to you pretty quickly. Here's the members homepage. And this one called safety right here. When you go in there, I want you to watch the very first video. And the very first video that pops up is this one about scams. It's kind of long, 26 minutes, but it's all the different scams that I've seen and how to avoid them and everything else. So that is really uh, the, the most important thing that I can tell you right now. Just watch that video. It makes it very simple. 
And then also there's all other types of stuff you can check out there while you're there. So there's that. And then as far as like uh, different types of scams, now I'm gonna introduce you to Marky. And Marky, like I said, she uh, works at a restaurant, restaurant manager, works very hard. And she got screwed out of like out of ten thousand dollars, and I'm gonna just have her tell you exactly what happened. There's there's different things that have that have come up. We've 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 covered these in detail here, but I want to show you exactly how easy it is to make a simple mistake, and you know lose a big chunk or a chunk or all of it of your cryptocurrency. And remember, it's not how much you make; it is how much you keep. And this is Marky. Uh, Marky, thanks for coming in because it allows us to put. Uh, a face to all these horrible stories that we hear about as far as scams. So, so Marky had an atomic wallet and she was going through a difficult time with a strep throat. It's an infection, very not doing too hot. And then a lot of things were going on and she had gone through a uh, telegram to, to find some support. And then she downloaded something, 12 words. So Marky, bring us up to speed with kind of give us our, our, the, the, the short story of what happened and how you lost $10,000. Let's hear this. Okay. Hey, Rao. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I have to talk. I'm going to try to do short, okay? Sure. So basically what happened, uh, Atomic Wallet. I have it for a little while. And I was looking for my Zilliqa because it, I stake it, and it's a lot of Zilliqa in there. Right. And so I check it once a while, mm -hmm. and I claim my reward, and I get a GZIL for it. So when I went to Atomic Wallet, uh, I did not see any, almost any Zilliqa. It was almost gone. Mm -hmm. So I went through the Atomic Wallet through the, through the application. Yeah. And I went to try for, um, talk to somebody. So I uh, got, went to uh, Telegram. And of course, Telegram, that's happened to me before. Um, I pushed a button. Now it's five people talking to me, same logo, same words exactly. You know, so I just went away because that happened to me before with um, Celsia Network. I went there Celsia Network and the same thing. So many people start talking to me, want some money from me. So I don't talk to Telegram anymore. It, there is where too much scans on Telegram. Mm -hmm. So after that, I went to email the support. Well, the support emailed me back and give me some kind of link that I need to go to and put my um, passport or wallet. Or, and I didn't feel comfortable with that neither. So, and I don't feel good. So I went to estet my phone. I went to on my iPod and went to Google Play Store. And I look for a wallet, atomic wallet, that I'm going to download it there, exactly some wallet. And I'm going to put my 12 words in it because that's how you can get in because you want to restore your wallet. Well, when I <laughs> did that, I was hurry and, you know, I was like a little bit not you know, I wasn't calm because I didn't couldn't find my Zilliqa. Mm -hmm. So I downloaded uh, Atomic Wallet, and unfortunately, look like I did download the wrong one. Because when I downloaded it, I put my 12 words. After that, it was on the screen and say, sorry, um, this is under construction, whatever. And... I said, okay, well, nothing I can do right now. So nobody couldn't help me. I emailed the support, 20 emails, talked to back and forth. And they said I couldn't do anything about it because right away I put the 12 words there. I guess bad people everywhere. So we got to beware. Mm -hmm. uh, and they took my um, coins and they could, took my um, um, Cardano, but I actually was taking it too. But it's very interesting because the Cardano that I was taking it's um, still actually not in my wallet, but in pending history, and it's not went through yet. And when you click on the hash, um, it's actually go different pools. Right. So it's like floating everywhere. Floating it's just everywhere. floating. Yes, that, that, that part is weird, but it sounds to me like, let me get this. So this is what happens as, as I see it. So okay. you had an issue with your atomic wallet. You went through to the email or to the official website, got an email, didn't like that, went to Telegram, don't like that. Then you were on your tablet. And on your mm -hmm. tablet, then you went to the Google Play Store. And I don't know, do you have a do you have a um an iPad or just like one of those generic other tablets? Not generic, but like uh Google tablets or something like that. It's a Samsung ta uh, tablet. Samsung tablet. So if it was Samsung, only, only Android. You go through Android, you go to Google Play Store. Google Play Store is supposed to protect us. They don't. They suck. And you get what looks like the exact same atomic wallet. Download it. 
put your your uh, past recovery phrase. They take all your all your coins, which is worth ten thousand dollars in Auntie Kills. Okay. So, Marky, thanks for sharing your story. We appreciate it because it's it's one of those things. Like again, to put a to put a face because these are real stories and this affects everybody out there and it's awful. Me and Marky, Marky lost a good amount. I lost 20,000 Cardano because I put on a piece of paper and I lost the paper. So again, not how much you make, it is how much you keep. So everybody out there watching this right now, just make sure you do a couple of things. First of all, get a stone book. Get a stone book because you can write all your past phrases and keep them on there. Actually get two. I got one in my house. I got one in my safety security uh, box. The second thing is always go to the official website. Go to the official website. They have the download links for everything. Don't go to Google Play Store or anyplace else. Go to the official website. Don't go to Telegram. Telegram sucks. And then, of course, anybody who wants your, your, your passwords, your passphrase, personal information, or your mnemonic phrases, they're all scammers, even if you hear from me. <laughs> if you treat everything like a scam, and your life will be a hell of a lot easier. Marky, anything else? Yes. Well, the total of what I lost was ten thousand dollars and you know that's a hard working money because i'm a manager at the restaurant and that's my four months salary yeah. and you know i am very well i want to say god loves me and i'm very blessed because i find um traded chain family and uh <laughs> thanks to you rob yeah. so thank you and you know how at um restaurant it works when people walks out on servers you know, uh, that all servers get together and collect the money and give it back to the server. So the server actually don't lose anything. Hmm. And uh, that's what um, a traded chain family try to do with me. So that's very, I'm very grateful and thankful. And um, just want to let you know one thing. Please remember, servers don't get paid by check. They only get paid by a tip. So make sure you tip your server very well, okay? Tip your, waitress, tip your waitress, tip your waitress and hostess and hoster, whatever else. Okay. And then what Marky's she's talking about trade the chain. It's a it's a feature that we've we've uh, talked about here. And it's one of the things I always forget about. So trade the chain, it's all about sentiment analysis, but they have a really robust community. And just like what Marky was talking about, that they do those types of things, which is pretty cool. Yes. Marky, thanks. I appreciate you coming on. Thanks so much. And uh, let's jump back. Okay, thank you. Take care. God bless you. Okay, so that's it. So that, that's the big thing. That was pre-recorded. I uh, actually did that yesterday. Now we're going to squeeze it in today, uh, obviously, because uh, I wasn't so briskly uh, shaven as I am right now. But uh, there's another piece of the puzzle as far as it's not what you make, it's what you keep. And it really comes down to uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, our taxes. And the second of all is if you want to keep uh, a lot of your uh, belongings or your, excuse, your gains, then you want to do something like maybe a crypto IRA. So there's two different options for you. And in all of my videos in the description, this is the description. Hey, hello. Oh, before I do that, uh, if you haven't seen these, my YouTube recommendations, these are all the people I listen to. I like all these people. I trust all these people. So check those guys out. But underneath here is all the different uh, links. Of course, they're all affiliate links. You don't have to use them, but uh, they go into the exact uh, website that you should be going to. And then, uh, so there's there's two different things. First of all, crypto taxes. I use CryptoTrader.tax. This is a video we talked about before, uh, today actually. And uh, you can get 20% off with uh, this coupon code right here. And also they're running a promo, which is pretty cool. If you click on this, it'll take you to, this is it, where you can win a free uh, report. So I use CryptoTrader.tax. This is my second year I've used them. They, they saved me 16,000 in uh, tax loss harvesting from the time that I actually started up to actually did the whole thing instead of my CPA. It took me 30 minutes. So if you wanna go to every single exchange that you've ever done, and, and when I did it, I, I went back to 2017, 18 and 19 because I made a lot of stupid trades. So when I was over there, uh, in 30 minutes, I got everything, sent them over to my CPA, CPA that looks so, so good, and then off to the IRS. So again, they're doing a free giveaway. Uh, it's unlimited. It's worth $300. And all you gotta do is put in your first name and email. And of course that is right here. And the second thing I, I wanna talk to you about is tax taxes, is saving on taxes. It's called the crypto IRA. So IRAs, they're kind of confusing, but if you got a traditional IRA, 
or an old employer, uh, 401k, 403b, military TSP, or 457. I always like to have that right there because I can never remember those. Uh, then you can transfer them over penalty free. So it's a little bit different, but the people over at iTrust, those are the ones that I use. I've used them for six or eight. I, I can't remember if it's six or eight months, but I've been with them for quite some time. I like them. I trust them. I have skin in the game again. So if you want to see like, you know, what type of IRA uh, w- could work for you, uh, we're looking at uh, a traditional, a uh, SEP or a Roth. Check out this video and oops, the video link. Actually, the link to uh, iTrust is right here. And uh, this is the explainer video. When you click on that, it's going to take you this handy dandy video. 23 minutes, but it's pretty important that you watch the whole thing. And I'm going to explain to you how all the gains that you make for your for your, uh, for your your cryptocurrency, they can't tax those in an IRA. So if you bought Bitcoin at 10000 and it goes to 400000 and uh, if you take that money out, capital gains tax doesn't apply to you. So if depending on where you live, like I'm in Texas, uh, I, don't, I pay 0% uh, state, but in federal, I could pay up 38%. If you're in California, you got to pay federal, which is 38 plus 10%. So it just depends. So watch that video. And then, of course, um, there is a affiliate link as well. And when you click on that, it'll give you uh, one month free. So go ahead and check those out. And that is it. So, again, it's not what you make. It is what you keep. And so it's really important that we follow the different things that we talked about here. Uh, don't throw away your stuff. That's pretty important. Keep your uh, password safe. Right. It's right here. And also, if you're looking for the link to this um, stone book uh, up here in the description again, there is also a I think you get 20 percent off right here. Yeah, 20 percent off. So Freddie's the CEO. Good guy. He's giving us all, everybody 20 uh, percent off for Dan users. And uh, that's the big thing. So thanks for sticking with me. I know it's a little bit longer, but uh, this is probably the most important thing. It doesn't matter what you invest in. So uh, thanks for watching all the end. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one.